Hello guys, welcome to a new quick class in Hort Americas TV. This month we have a lot of material prepared for you with focus on LED lighting. For this video, I have prepared information about the advantages and lighting options for a very popular crop, cannabis. Cannabis is a plant that is very sensitive to different variables, including light. Most cannabis varieties are short day plants, meaning days with shorter for a period will induce flowering. When growing this plant in indoors, we are able to have total control over day length or for a period, a great advantage over production. In order to understand how to control the response of cannabis in indoor system, we first need to learn about the vegetative phase and the generative phase. The vegetative phase is pretty important. Even though we don't have flowers at this stage, vegetative phase will have a big impact in yield. At this stage, we need to optimize light quality and quantity to promote growth. This plant can take a lot of light. We will speak about best lighting options in a minute, but let's continue learning about the vegetative phase. In order to keep short day plants in vegetative phase, we need to provide longer for the periods, higher than 15 hours. Usually vegetative phase is maintained for five to eight weeks. Nutrition, light, and all parameters that can have a good impact in yield should have all our attention at this stage. Why? Because once our plants move to generative phase, they will grow only about 30%. Vegetative phase has a very specific objective then, growth. When vegetative phase period ends, it's time to induce flowering by exposing plants to shorter for periods from eight to 12 hours. Flowering phase can last from five to 16 weeks when our plants will be producing flowers. After this, our plants will be ready for harvest. We usually see a change in the plant, trichomes turns brown and leaves can also turn yellow. As mentioned before, vegetative phase and generative phase are very sensible to environmental conditions. Temperature and humidity requirements for this plant are different between the different stages of development. Generative phase require lower temperature and lower humidity levels. When selecting a lamp for cannabis, we always need to think about the amount of light provided by the lamp. In comparison to other crops grown in indoors, cannabis requires more light. Usually, we look for a lamp providing more than 400 micromoles per square meter per second. Most commercial operations will look for lamps reaching levels around 1,000 micromoles. As you can notice, this plant can take a lot of light. Recommended DLI levels goes from 20 to 30 moles per square meter per day. Which lamps can we use in order to provide the best light quality and quantity to our plants? In Hort Americas, we have multiple options. The Arise Element L1000 lamp is a lamp designed to provide a one-to-one -one replacement to high pressure sodium lamps, a type of lamp that is commonly used in indoor systems. However, we already know about how high pressure sodium lamps can have a bad impact in temperature and humidity inside of indoor systems, making environment management more challenging, sometimes more expensive, in addition to the energy consumption by this lamp that we know is high. L1000 can be a really good option to replace high pressure sodium lamps with an option that can allow you to have better control over the environment and way more efficiency. Other option for cannabis can be a rice factor ML900. These lamps were designed thinking in providing the best light quality and quantity for cannabis. For example, these lamps will reduce stretching that we know is good in indoor production because cannabis can be a really tall plant. Also, 
will maximize production of secondary metabolites in mature flowers. Here, you can see the spectrum options available. We know, for example, far red can be a good option to promote flowering and also root development. So PKF spectrum is now also offering the option to add some far red. All these spectrums can have a good impact in cannabis. Light intensity providing from this lamp is great for cannabis and the efficiency of this lamp is one of the best in the market. Lamp selection in indoor system is definitely a key to succeed in our projects. In Hort Americas, we want you not only to provide the best lighting options for you, but also teach you why we are the best option. This month, we will be releasing a new guide teaching you all you need to know about lighting applications in horticulture for different crops, not just cannabis. And we are also offering our vertical farming chart course. It's time to learn about lighting in horticulture. Well, I hope you enjoyed this session. Remember, my name is Carla Garcia, Hort America's Technical Service. See you in the next video.